what's up guys i just wanted to do a little update video since i haven't posted in a little bit so this was my nine foot session in my deload week of my strength cycle i was jumping decently high not my highest ever but still not bad and after this speed cycle that i'm doing right now i should be jumping higher since it was deload week i didn't really want to go too hard in the volume just wanted to get some light jumps in max effort about 30 jumps and get some dunks in Overall, it was a pretty uneventful session, but I just wanted to show you guys how high I'm jumping right now. But one thing's for sure, I'm definitely a lot stronger after this cycle. So this was the high intensity Friday lift in my deload week. And I started off with some hang split snatches. And I really like this exercise because you have to push the intent. You have to move the barbell or else you're not gonna catch it. You have to produce a lot of force in a short amount of time with relatively little range of motion and knee bend. And also, it's nice to switch up the lifts once in a while, get some variety going, because sometimes I get sick of cleans all the time. And it's nice to throw some snatches in there. I worked my way up to 110 for three reps, which when I first started doing this exercise, I could barely do like a bar, so not too mad about that. Next, I did some reverse lunges, and once again, I added this in there for some variety and some unilateral stimulus on my other high intensity day it's heavy on the bilateral stimulus and i just wanted to switch it up get some variety this is a really intense exercise and it heavily targets not just the quads but also the glutes so i think it's going to help with my one foot jump since one foot jumping is so reliant on the posterior chain the morning after is never fun for this exercise but I find that it's a really underrated stimulus, especially for one foot jumpers, and it was really potent for me, at least. I ended up doing 175 for six on each leg, and it wasn't too bad. Could have went higher, but I wanted to focus on form and not sacrifice any of my technique, even though I could have went higher on the weight. A few days before this, I maxed out at 370 pounds for my barbell back squat. So I definitely feel that I'm getting stronger in my triple extension lifts and I think these lifts are going to translate well to my jumping. And after the reverse lunges, I headed into deadlift. So I scheduled this as a test or max out day since it's deload week and I started off light, did 245, that moved well, 275, that moved well, 295, a little bit of a struggle but got it up. and. 325 I think was next, 305. So this was actually my previous PR. I got 305 and it was sumo too, which was easier. So I was happy with this 325. And eventually I got up to 340 and it was a 35 pound PR, not sumo either. So I was really happy with this. Honestly, I could have went heavier, but again, I wanted to prioritize technique, especially with deadlift don't want to risk my back especially with my history of lower back pain so i went into some jumps just for fun just for some gits and shiggles you know not gonna lie i kind of surprised myself since i had no caffeine in me my jumps weren't even like a hundred percent it was like 90 percent jumps and i think with caffeine adrenaline and a good jump day things could get scary 